Alright guys, welcome back to another beta Minecraft episode, episode 49 in fact. Um, can you believe it? I have something very special um, planned for episode 50, so you're going to have to stick around um, stick around to see that for the next episode. Um, but today we're building a slime farm, um, and in order for us to do that, we're going to need to mine out a big, big flat area below minus 40, minus 40? Below Y40, um, and then hope to find a slime chunk, and then we're going to have to use sort of trial and error to deduce where the, uh, where the exact chunk is. Now, we're going to grab a bunch of TNT and head underground and make a big area for the, uh, for the slime to spawn in a bit. Um, but first I want to show off this door design, which, um, some keen eye viewers might have seen in some of the other episodes before this one. Um, now this is a, a, a sort of hidden piston door, um, that you can kind of completely hide and have no, um, no indication of an entrance. Now I didn't really show this off until now, just because I wanted to incorporate it with the uh, with the slime farm eventually. Um, but this is basic. This is a boat piston door, basically a boat a activated piston door, um, which Ethos Lab came up with some years ago. Um, which I can uh, I'll link the video into the into the description as well, so that um, you guys can check out the original video. Um, but basically, how it works is you take a boat and then you place it in uh, in the wall here, and then you can walk through and then the door closes behind you. Now the way this works is pretty simple actually. You place the, the boat in there, it gets put into this block, and one corner of the boat is stuck on this, this uh, pressure plate here, which opens, uh, opens the piston door, and also um, brings a redstone signal up here to retract this piston. Um, and then the lava starts to flow down, and another corner of the boat is here, um, and is broken by the lava when the lava hits it. So you could put the lava kind of as high as you want to make the timer of the door open, uh, like the time the door is open longer, but here it's about, I think it's about like three seconds or so, um, for the lava to flow down, um, which, yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting door, um, to say the least. So yeah, there's the boat put down on it. As you can see, oh, I, I, let me show that a bit better. Let's, um, grab the other boats. So I put the boat in there. There it is on that corner there. And there it is there. And it just got destroyed. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool random, random system here. And yeah, the only indication that I guess there is a door here is, uh, is the leftover scrap that kind of gets left outside. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's not a big issue in our, uh, single player world. I don't think anyone's gonna going to notice that. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to incorporate this into our, uh, slime farm, have this be our, uh, our, our door to our slime farm, maybe. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get down underground, let's grab some TNT, and I think it's about time we start, uh, blowing an area up for our slime farm. Okay, so here's a bunch of TNT, and here we are down by our railway. We're going to take this track, um, over to our boat road and old mine. Um, cause I think this is where I'm gonna have, uh, the slime farm over here. Now this, this track I think one day will go, will probably connect to the, uh, to the spider farm all the way, uh, all the way out that way. And, uh, yeah, and obviously the slime farm which I'm gonna build around here. Um, so I think, so this kinda goes down to just, a, this must be just above bedrock, yeah, 11 here. I guess this is like a bit up. But slimes can spawn around here. Um, now I do have, um, over a bit further here, this is where I used to, um, do a little bit of redstone and stuff with that, uh, with that old exploit, and a bit of coal, um, so I'm gonna keep this intact, cause, um, yeah, you know, nostalgia, so I think on this side is where things are gonna be, uh, are gonna be, um, blown up, just out this way, we're gonna obviously keep this intact, so probably down in here, and then out this way is, um, is where we're gonna blow stuff up, and hopefully we'll find a slime chunk. Um, a usable slime chunk, um, and, uh, yeah, I think let's, uh, kind of just get used to it. Actually, ironically, I will say, ironically, um, in, in the railway, basically in the middle of this railway section here, there's a slime chunk, because slimes do spawn in here occasionally, so, yeah, but obviously we can't use that, because it's, uh, in the middle of our, uh, our railway, so, yeah, we're not going to be using that, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get to work on blowing this area out. Okay, and just a quick update before I start blowing things up, um, I made, uh, basically perimeter, it's like a hundred by a hundred blocks, and, uh, all of this in here is gonna be blown up, and that's, uh, that's where we're hoping a slime chunk will be. I have no idea, but that's where I'm hoping one will be, so, I'm gonna get blowing things up. Let's go. Thank you. 
Alright, so here we are, quite a bit later, we have mined out this whole area using TNT and our pickaxe, and it is a huge area that uh, could possibly hold slime chunks, which is kind of cool, and this took a while, but uh, not as long as you'd think, I mean TNT kind of did, uh, did most of the work, um, yeah, it's kind of cool though. Now, obviously I've been in this area quite a lot, and I have seen some slimes spawning, which is great, um, but I'll get to that in a sec. So I have seen some slimes spawn over here in this corner as well. Now I'm not sure whether it might be just the very corner of the box, I'm not sure, but I feel like it might dig into this wall here, so I'm not going to touch that. But luckily, there is a slime spawning over here, and I did mark just with a little uh, little wood block where I saw the, the slime spawning. And there's another one, so we definitely have a slime chunk somewhere in here, which we need to kind of figure out. So this is where I saw the first one spawning, um, and here's the next one. So, and then there was another one over there. So yeah, we've got, we've got a slime chunk here, um, and I don't know how, I don't really know how to determine <laughs> where exactly the slime chunk is and how the slime chunk is. I've got this grid pattern with the torches, you might have noticed. Um, I've got this grid pattern, it's like you know, five blocks between each torch. I don't know if that really helps me at all. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some research and figure out how, how you might find a slime chunk um, just randomly, you know, because I feel like, yeah, it's kind of weird. You kind of don't know. And there's another... Wait, there's a slime over there. Surely that's t too big to be one chunk. Unless the chunk is here. It's like a... Si and there's another- Whoa, okay, so we might have a couple of- A couple of slime chunks here, okay. Wait, I wanna- I wanna mark these areas <laughs> where I find the slimes, cause... Honestly, it's pretty cool that- that there's slimes over here. Cause if there's a slime chunk in the middle here, that would be kind of more ideal than all the way over there, but- Oh, and there's some there! Okay, this is- I don't know- I don't know how big the area could be, but like, there's slime spawning here. Good thing is, we've got slime spawning, I'm gonna figure out how to, how to find the slime chunks, and uh, yeah, I'll show you when I've got those areas kind of marked out. Okay, so quite a bit of time later, a bit of headache, and some trial and error, and figuring it out, I do have an idea of where these slime farms are. So, get destroyed. You're dead. Give me your slime. Okay, so I know for a fact that there is a slime far, uh, slime chunk here and one over here. Some kind of areas around here. I think they dig into the wall because um, so I think the perimeter must be like very close to here and same with that one there. So we're going to ignore those ones because they're very close to our uh, infrastructure. Um, now you do see a slime over here, but he actually spawned in this area here, which you might be able to see, I've marked out with some wood here. So this is a chunk right here that um, is a slime chunk as far as I can tell. Now this guy, yeah, he is over there, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he just walked all the way over here um, rather than actually spawned over there. Um, I don't know what he's on a mission for, but um, he's going to die. Get dead. Okay. Um, now... That one's probably the most convenient one, um, and I think I'm I'm happy to try and use that one. But there is another one over here. In fact, there's another two slash three over here, um, which is kind of cool. So uh, this bit of wood here. So this is a slime chunk here, um, right in the middle here, which is kind of good. Like it's it's a quite a bit of a distance away though. But this is actually a double slime chunk right here. So. Um, I kind of, like, <laughs> blocked off this area, and they were spawning in here, and I was like, okay, cool, like, this is a slime chunk, and then they were spawning over here, and I was like, what is happening, okay, is it, like, moved slightly over or whatever, and then I moved it, and then, like, slimes were spawning out, I was like, I don't understand, and then I was like, wait, it's probably a double slime chunk, so, double slime chunk, which is pretty cool, um, so this might be the best one to use, because, um, obviously, you would probably get double the slime, right? So, yeah, but the annoying thing is it is kind of over here and it does dig into the wall just slightly. Um, but, yeah, I'm not entirely sure um, 
what the best strategy there. So double slime chunk there, slime chunk over there, and then I, uh, I also found that there was another one just down the end over here. Yeah, here we go. Just in this corner, just outside our uh, initial perimeter. Um, just over here. So we've got quite a few options. There they are spawning in our square. Uh, we've got quite a few options to work with. This one seems to spawn the most. I don't know if that's just coincidence or uh, or or what. I don't know if they, they have specific spawning rates or anything like that. But um, yeah, as you can see, these guys definitely all spawned within this uh, within this perimeter. Actually, they kind of spawned... Look like they kind of spawned next to it, huh? Okay, and that guy, there's no way that guy walked all the way over there. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm almost certain that this right here is the, uh, is the spawning chunk. But there's also some over there. I don't know. I don't know. This has been a, been a, been a headache. A headache and a half to try and, try and narrow down where these, where these slime chunks are. They do move quite fast, so, yeah. But yeah, anyway, there's uh, yep, there's a lot of slime spawning. They definitely travel out from there. I think there could be one in that corner. Just, you know, just thinking of it. But um, I think that's kind of, kind of the most I'm gonna try and find these slime chunks. Other than this, I think I'm I'm done looking for them. I found quite a few, you know, viable options. I don't need to need to look for any more. So um, yeah. Okay, now I know I said I was going to build the slime farms in this episode, at the start of the episode, but this actually has taken quite a long time, obviously, to mine out this area and to, uh, to find where the slimes are spawning. So, I'm, I'm going to call it there for this episode. This is, uh, this is our preparation for slime farm episode, um, and then not in the next episode, because that's episode 50, I've got, um, something else planned, but in the episode after that, episode 51, we will most likely be building slime farms, so stick around for that, um, let me know what you think of this video, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in episode 50. Laters!